Right, Jamie. Um, you've, you've been you had the hamstring, tight, mm. tight hamstring, didn't you, in the run up to the the South End game, which yeah. which kept me on the bench. And is everything 100 percent now? You yeah, back to I feel normal? fine. Yeah. Um, going into the Morecambe game, it felt a hell of a lot better. Um, obviously, I've got about half an hour then, um, and then it's been fine. I've had no no reactions. Uh, it's all been good. So. Uh, obviously, last weekend's game, I was fit and ready to go, and was eager to, to play. And unfortunately, um, obviously, didn't get in, and managed to only get about ten minutes. I think so. Uh, you know, wasn't great. Uh, I thought we played well though on the day, uh, especially first forty-five. Second half was a bit up and down, and obviously, uh, you know, everyone was gutted after the game that they, we managed to sort of throw away three points. Yeah, a few of the fans were saying that he should have been put on earlier, and it's sort of easy to say that after the game. But mm. <clears throat> ten minutes isn't much to make an impact. Although you did it against Wimbledon, didn't you, with the late? late yeah, game. I mean it's difficult. I think the, the, the way the game was going was very hard. The wind was obviously against us. Uh, at the time, we were obviously two one up, and managers thinking, well, you know, do we need to make a change? And obviously, you know, he made that decision not to. Then suddenly it's two two, and uh, you then think, oh, is he going to change it straight away? And he didn't. And um, yeah, ten minutes. Obviously, you know, you, you want to get a lot more time on the pitch than that, but. Um, you know, obviously that was the manager's decision. You know, he, he felt you know the game was going okay and um, decided just to make the change right at the end. And I probably maybe touched it about three times, so it wasn't great on my, my perspective. And, and obviously as a team, you know, it wasn't great because obviously we threw away the points. And uh, you know, we've had to work hard in training this week and, and make sure that we we go and you know get a good result, result on Saturday. Yeah, Morecambe was probably more than any any other game this season. You, you had so many chances as a team, didn't you? Particularly in the, that scramble just for half yeah. time, but there were numerous other times where you just couldn't believe it hadn't gone in the net. And what, what was that like having to watch that? Yeah, it? it was sort of from the sidelines. You watched it, thinking, you know, get me on. Uh, you know, whenever there's chances, you, you feel that if you're on the pitch, that a couple would have fell, fell to myself. So uh, eager to get on, I was at that point. Uh, and like I say, the game sort of was, was sort of steady at nil nil, and, and the manager wanted to win and, and threw me on earlier. And you know, thankfully, we managed to get the win that day. Um, so it's all you can do. You know, I'm, I'm disappointed whenever I don't play and. Uh, the hamstring sort of tightness was a bit of a pain because I'd, I'd got sort of a little run of games and now I've obviously missed the, the last three. Uh, I only looked the other day and I've only started eight, eight league games. So, you know, for me, this season's been sort of very up and down and very mismatched. I haven't managed to get a real good run of, you know, 10, 15 games under my belt. So uh, I'm eager to get back in the team um, and try and sort of stay injury free and, and keep my form and, and, and play, you know, as many games as possible. So. That's sort of my aim. Like I say um, I only looked really the other day, and it was a bit disappointing to see that I'd only sort of started eight games. And you know, for me, that's that's not enough. And I need to make sure I'm I'm in the team and, and doing well. Yeah, there seems to be a policy of absolutely no risk with you at all, isn't there? If you've got a yeah. slight niggle, don't risk it. Which obviously you probably sometimes want them to just chat you on, but you know, yeah, it could pay off if you do yeah. get a good run in the second half. Of yeah, season. definitely. I mean, I think because of obviously the injury early on in the season, uh, plus I suppose with my age, we, we we tend to be a bit more cautious and. I played sort of the back-to-back -back games uh, with Newport Rovers, uh, and it just felt a bit after Rovers. I think where I played the three games, um, I just felt a bit of tightness. So going into South End, it was still quite sore in the week, so we decided to leave it. And then unfortunately from that, I've not got back in. So you know, it, it's things that you have to deal with. You know, if I wouldn't have maybe had the hamstring, would I have played at South End and then you know stayed in the team? I, I don't know, but um, I think at the time the right decision was made. You know, I didn't want to end up pulling my hamstring. Um, but then once you're out thinking right more come let me get back in and obviously then you don't and then you think right next game and it's a case now of sort of buying my time a bit so it's frustrating like I say because I've not managed to to get a real good run of games of, of being 100% fit and, and in real good form and, and that, that's a shame at the moment so hopefully come you know over the Christmas period I can get back in and like I say stay injury free and, and have a real good crack at um, back end of the season yeah I don't know the exact stats but you're probably well over 20 by the stage last season when you exited because you, you almost played every league game yeah I'd have probably played most league games I was probably into maybe double figures as well in goals so you know it's disappointing um, I suppose the only good thing is I've got four goals in eight games so yeah. I suppose that's one thing to, to take heart by you know when I have started and, and, and played then I've managed to get a goal so Hopefully, you know, like I say, I can I can get in and, and finish off the season. You know, I don't want to end up finishing off with maybe 15, 16 starts and you know eight goals. I I really want to get sort of into the the back end, the business end of the season and try and get 20 plus games and, and hopefully double figures as well. Yeah, have you had discussions with the manager about it about how he's using you because there, there are times where you've obviously come off and you haven't wanted to and you've had a you know, had a discussion about it and everything has been <laughs> yeah. fine straight away. But there've been times where we you... haven't actually sat down and spoke about it. I, I understand his reasonings. If I think more so if we've got games that are close together I think uh, he'll probably you know take a bit more caution with me I think if we've got Saturday Saturday games it's not too bad um, but I think the gaffer looks at it that if we're winning in a game and everything's okay 
he maybe feels that he could, you know, it's time that he can get me off and, and, and rest me up. Uh, obviously, I look at it the complete opposite and think there's more goals and I want to stay on. So, you know, we haven't, like I say, needed to sit down and, and go through it. Um, you know, maybe he might pull me over the Christmas period and, like I say, we play Boxing Day, we play the 29th and then the 1st. So, if I'm back in by then, whether he risks me and, and I start every single game, I don't know. I suppose it depends on my body and like, maybe we'll talk about that. Uh, but at the moment, I've got to get in the team to, to have those discussions, I suppose. And, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll get a nod on Saturday or I'll, I'll play a bit longer than normal and, and force my way back into the team for, for the next few games over Christmas. Yeah, obviously there's going to have to be a change with Kamar Roof mm. being out, so that, that might open up for you. But what have you made of Jermaine McGlashan up front? Because he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's caused problems. Yeah, he's he? done well. Yeah, I think, obviously for me, pulling out of the South End game, I think the manager wanted pace up there and, and try and sort of play a role that I played. And um, Yeah, he's done well. You know, his pace causes problems. Um, obviously, it's different for him rather than being out wide he's, he's obviously making different types of runs and he's finding himself in, in sort of goal scoring opportunities a lot more um, but yeah he's done well so you know he's sort of added a bit more of a problem because it's another forward now we've got rather than him being a winger so he's, he's just added to the front line um, but he's done well I think for what the gaffers asked him to do um, and what the team needed at the time um, you know he's come in and done a decent job so you know hopefully uh, he doesn't do too well and I can get back in but you know like I say it's all competition for places and uh, he's another one that's added to it but he can play in a lot of positions now and he's, he's obviously proved that he's, he's played in the hole um, obviously he's a natural winger and now he's uh, you know doing well up front so um, it's good for the squad you know like I say at the end of the day it's down to us as a, as a group to, to perform each day and whatever team the manager puts out and whatever position you play in um, you know you've got to do your job yeah what was it like uh, against Fleetwood last season for Exeter because you would have played against them yeah we, uh, we, we think we I drew 1-1 at home um, managed to score and then away from home I think we uh, drew 1-1 as well um, we did okay against them to be fair last year um, it's a tough place uh, they've moved on probably from last year and uh, brought a, sort of a better quality of player in they've got a, a strong squad um, but like I say we've spoke about them this week they're not unbeatable um, they think they've lost more games than we have already this year so you know I think away from home we've actually done a lot better than we have at home so uh, you know we're, we're going there confident um, after last weekend I think we need to, to put points on the board again whether that's a, a draw or a win um, and then we've got two home games, so um, it's an important fixture for us. Uh, we're on a good unbeaten run and we like to con continue that into the new year. So it's going to be difficult, but I think we've got a, a good enough group of players that uh, can go there and get a result. Yeah, I spoke to Steve Elliott last week about Christmas for footballers. Obviously, he's, he said he hasn't had a Christmas since he was about 16. What's, is it just football, football, football for you? Is, that, is it just yeah. one striker at this club? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you just sort of get used to it. Um, you know, even from day one, even being as a kid. Uh, Sam, you know, yeah. I've either had to stay in and, and, and be a ball boy or, or do the change room. So from sort of day one of, of uh, signing for a club, your Christmas sort of goes out the window. Um, but it's part and parcel of it. You know, when anyone retires, you can enjoy your Christmas sort of after that. Uh, family get a bit annoyed, uh, especially the kids if I've had to come in on Christmas Day. Uh, they normally have to wait for, for presents to be open. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's been different. But um, you know, I'd say you just get used to it and uh, you can enjoy, enjoy Boxing Day. And then I enjoy sort of festives after after boxing their games normally uh, yep. don't eat too much on Christmas Day and obviously maybe one glass of champagne and then that's sort of it concentrating on you know the next game yeah some managers always have their teams in on Christmas Day I don't mm. think Mark Yates has the last no, years no I've been told so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that stays <laughs> the same because I've been in uh, I don't know how many years on the trot so uh, I've sort of mentioned it to my kids that there's a chance that I, I could be there Christmas Day uh, yep. so that'd be nice you know it just gives you a little bit of a break um, I think if you trust your players uh, you know, Christmas Day isn't, isn't too bad, even if you go out for a, just a walk or a jog. Um, you tend to not do loads on Christmas Day, even when you come in. So yep. it does wind me up a little bit. But, um, you know, I think if you've got a good group and they look after themselves and, and do the right things, eat well, obviously don't drink, um, and you can, you know, perform well on Boxing Day, then I think giving the lads off, you know, Christmas Day isn't the worst thing you can do. Yeah. Well, cheers, Jamie. Thanks, 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 thanks a lot. Cheers.